CO, I am Deputy Principal Chief Brian Warner, and it is my honor to welcome you to the 69th Annual Cherokee National Holiday State of the Nation event. Sadly, because of the recent national spike in COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations, we are again forced to scale back our annual homecoming and to connect with our citizens virtually. Communicating online is something that we have gotten adept to over the past year, but we will miss seeing many of you in our capital city to remember the 1839 signing of the Cherokee Nation Constitution. However, safety and security will always come first. That is how Cherokee Nation has responsibly operated throughout the COVID pandemic. I am proud to serve as the chairman of the Tribal Advisory Committee for the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and socially distancing protocols are the safe and responsible thing to do to protect our families and our communities. I know this past year and a half has been trying for Cherokee people who instinctively gather together, break bread, enjoy a laugh, and see their larger families during the Cherokee National Holiday. We know all too well the power this pandemic has to take away, not just our livelihood, but the lives of our loved ones. Too many truly great Cherokees were taken from us too soon during this pandemic. Today, our obligation is to give each of those lives that have been lost even more meaning. How do we do that during these difficult times? How do we build one another up in moments of struggle? It's simple. The Creator encourages us to use kindness, love, and compassion. This is something that we as Cherokees have done throughout this pandemic. Because of the great loss that we have endured, our hearts are grieving, so we must have compassion as we move forward. As 1 Peter chapter 3 says, let us have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, a humble mind, and let's wrap everything that we do in love. Let us remember those who have passed from this earth, and let us honor them by extending the grace and mercy that our Creator extends to each of us every single day. The real power of our tribal nation, I believe, is our people and our shared values of family, culture, and community. On a personal level, it has been my faith and my family, my wife Mako and our boys, that have continued to inspire me even when the days seem dark and daunting. However, it is our collective family security, both in the short term and the long term, that guides me as your Deputy Principal Chief. Principal Chief Hoskin and I know the health crisis has been and remains a struggle for so many Cherokees around the world. Cherokee Nation Business's CEO Chuck Garrett and Cherokee Nation Chief of Staff Todd Enlow, both of whom have been instrumental in our response as a nation, also understand this. Together, we have to prioritize jobs for families and communities. Every single job at Cherokee Nation and CNB has been protected and our staff has been paid during this pandemic. It is our instinctive responsibility to ensure that all Cherokees are safe and able to raise their families in a secure way. Even though offices and businesses were operating differently, the Cherokee Nation government continued to systematically develop the programs, services, and investments to drive our sovereign nation forward. We know from our past that Cherokee people are resilient and we will persevere. Our ancestors and their families were marched across the trail with few, if any, earthly possessions. But they carried our culture, our lifeways, and our stories in their hearts. They preserved language, and when they began to rebuild, they made it a priority to educate the generations coming after them. We can look to our own ancestors as the absolute model of how to lead through adversity. The theme of this holiday focuses on cultivating our Cherokee culture through language, literacy, and lifeways, specifically as we celebrate the Cherokee syllabary and its 200th anniversary. It is the heart and soul of our unique culture. The Chief and I have made language expansion a priority, and we have made protecting our first language speakers the first of many steps we will take to perpetuate the Cherokee language. In the spirit of a renowned statesman and linguistic genius like Sequoia, we are emphasizing our knowledge keepers and our culture bearers. We are keeping them as safe as possible at home, but we are using creative means to connect them to other language learning activities to the greater world. Bridging that digital divide in rural Oklahoma is long overdue. 
We couldn't wait for providers to plug in our citizens. So Cherokee Nation has taken the lead to ensure that we are not left behind in this digital age. Ongoing rural broadband expansion will enable our 2,000 speakers to stay safe, get the health care they need, and help a generation of students learn to read and write in Cherokee. We are increasing avenues for learning like no other time in our modern history. Meanwhile, the Oklahoma State University and the Cherokee Nation Medical School collaboration, without a doubt, is one of the most successful tribal state partnerships in Oklahoma. We are creating a new medical workforce attuned to the needs of our tribal citizen. Good careers can come from a wide range of industries. Oklahoma remains a critical player in aerospace development, engineering, and manufacturing. It's a core industry for the state's economy and one that the Cherokee Nation and CMB continue to thrive in. Getting our children and our grandchildren workforce prepared through education and job mentorship will ensure that Cherokees fill those high paying jobs at home and keep driving the economy within our reservation. As a former educator, I know how access to science, technology, engineering, and math education can change a young person's life. That's why we are continuing to connect Cherokee youth with opportunities to learn more about this career field. We have some great partners lined up and I can't wait to see the new exciting careers our Cherokee youth will choose when they begin to transition out of high school. I would also be remiss if we did not take a moment to recognize our military veterans and active service members. Cherokee Nation salutes you for defending our freedoms and our life. As Cherokees, it's important for us to pay our respects to the military men and women who have sacrificed for our nation. You are all truly Cherokee warriors and thank you for your service. My fellow Cherokees, COVID-19 continues to be a challenge to the Cherokee people, but we must keep the faith alive as we recover and rebuild in the coming months and years. We know this will eventually pass and we will overcome. We are too strong as a people as Cherokees to accept anything else. So on this 200th anniversary of Sequoia's gift to the Cherokee people, we stand resolute, prepared for a brighter and healthier tomorrow. Wadon. Well